Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Will and today I'm super excited. We're here at RV Open House in Elkhart, Indiana. We're taking a look at all the new and upcoming floor plans for 2024. And we're, Jen and I are going through the Keystone display. We divided and conquered. Matt and Andre are filming motorhomes. Jen and I are doing towables. And I'm so excited. Today we are taking a, taking a look at the all new Keystone Arcadia Superlight. Um, this one is model 246 SLRK. So this is a really, really cool floor plan and I can't wait to show you guys. We're starting in three, two, one. Before we start the video, I wanna tell you about two RV shows. First, November 9th through the 12th in Tampa, Florida is the Tampa RV Fall Show. I personally will not be there this year, but General RV will be there this year. So if you guys attend the show and you see an RV that you like want to buy, make sure you ask for Matt's cash so we give you the best price in America. But then the same day, November 11th, which is Saturday, I will be in Huntley, Illinois at the General RV. So if you live in Chicago or around the Illinois area, make sure you guys visit me. I'm doing a meet and greet big sale at the Huntley, Illinois store. We're going to have a free food truck, amazing sale prices and everything. Can't wait to see you guys in Huntley, Illinois. And I'm sorry I missed everybody at the Tampa show, but we are going to have phenomenal prices at both locations and online. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Again, today I'm so excited. We're taking a look at a brand new floor plan by Keystone Arcadia. Keystone Arcadia came out a few years ago and they just nailed it, especially with their interiors. We'll show you guys that a little bit later. But before we begin, I want to say hi to Jen. Hey guys. How How's doing? it going? I'm doing good. I'm excited to be here at Open House. It's kind of our opportunity to see everything that's new, cool, and improved yes. um, with the different dealers. So today, we, Will and I are going through the whole Keystone display. There's a lot of cool new floor plans to see, really, really hot stuff. So we're excited to show you guys. But um, I've always loved the Arcadias. Will and I seriously considered an Arcadia back when we were shopping for our like second fifth wheel. And so I really love the interiors. They do a great job. So I'm excited to show you guys this floor plan. Cool. All right, without further ado, Will. All right, we'll start up front. So up front here, you have a nice molded fiberglass front cap. It is painted. It says Arcadia on the front. It's hard to see you guys because we're at open house, but you have the Kurt Rotoflex pin box right here. And then underneath, you have great storage. Uh-oh, it's locked. Is it's, it? It's all good, oh, yep. Okay. I can feel it's locked That's there. That's gonna be, you know, like your, your, your spare tire. Spare tire, your batteries, yep. all that good stuff. So and a little bit of storage. Nice tie down right there. I love that. I wish ours had that because yeah. we could hook up the dog to it or something. Over here, nice propane tank right, right. there. It is four point electric auto leveling. Okay. As you can see there. Tons of storage for the size of this that this is. And guys, I forgot to do the specs. I'm sorry. You're good. Dry weight on this is 79, 7,915 pounds. Um, the length, oh, hitch weight, sorry, is 1,440 pounds. And the length is only 20 feet, six inches. So we're gonna talk about a lot of stuff in this video. And um, it's all like, it's, it's, it's when we see the class, to, that's yeah. what we're talking about is that weight and that length, yeah. you know, it's awesome. One nice big power awning with LED lights up Love above. Love that. You have the Kurt, uh, I'm sorry, these Kurt and Lippert, same thing, but yeah, Lippert, Lippert solid awesome. steps, they're the XF for extra fat. Nice windows, speakers, everything on the outside, and Jen, psh, Merka, John Cena. <laughs> hmm. I just love yelling John Cena with all these like manufacturer yeah, random people. Here. Okay, and then Jen, check out these tires. Man, I messed that up. And Jen, why am I messing up so bad? <laughs> hey, look at these tires. Look at these well. tires. Look at the uh, Oracles. Oracles. They are, we always have trouble finding them on these. Sometimes you I find them? them on the other one. Hold on. Come on. Do you see them on this one? Yes. SD 225-75 R15. Nice. And they are using the Road Armor Trail Air Suspension, which is um, 360 degree protection. It's the four point um, uh, rubber contact, which is better than you can even see. Uh, they break it down right there better than the Dexter standard center or even the more I'd see 3000. That's a common misconception actually. Yeah. Well, look at this cool graphic. You can, can like, they see, see it in the camera. Yeah, you can see nice. it. Right here on the outside. 
nice outside kitchen, capital grill there, hot point refrigerator. Very I nice. actually love this for it not being a bunkhouse floor plan. Yeah, we have seen this a lot in Keystone actually. Right, nice ladder to get up on the one piece. I believe they're using a TPO roof. Nice hitch right there, good for 300 pounds of vertical weight. Good for a bike rack or something. Yes, and then up top it is prepped for a backup camera right there. Very nice. Coming around. You got your dump station right there for gray tank. All right. And then up front is your uh, black and gray for the bathroom. 50 amp power right there. All right, yeah. Uh, instant tankless water heater. And then you have, I love how all this uh, wet base stuff is enclosed. You got your, sorry, outside shower, your cable satellite, auto leveling, tank fill, potable water fill, potable. potable. City water, and then your pull tank valves right there. Did you show too this has yes. an instant? Okay, sorry. I'm oh, just... you're good. Show it again, just in case I missed it. Nice storage on the other side. Second propane tank and your little solar panel connects right there. Well, Jen, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. I can't. See. Give us a skip. Well, <laughs> I want to see you try to skip when you're hunched down. Like that. There we go. That's more like it. All right. All right. Check out the inside. All right. Coming up front, guys. Have your bedroom up here. Your north to south bed. Bathroom in the middle. And then coming down here, you have your living area. Cool dining area, I can't wait to touch on that. And then your kitchen in the back. Nice. Well, Jen, we're gonna start in the back with you, but before we do, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor of this video. One, two, three, Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. All right, we're back, Will, and I'm gonna get started back in this rear kitchen here. So for the size of this fifth wheel, it's actually a really nice kitchen, countertop space and everything. Tons of storage up here. I love the white cabinetry that they're doing. Yes, looks storage great. Storage goes really far back. Lots of upper storage. Okay. And then coming down, three nice windows I love windows the windows, kitchen. yeah. Um, I don't know why they haven't closed, but it's like, you know, I'd have these open. For lots sure. Of, lots of natural light coming in. Nice countertops. That's the storage down there. And in that corner is where they fit that outdoor kitchen, it looks right, like. Right, right. You have a two bowl sink here. Love that. And an extension, little inserts. Yeah. yeah, extension faucet inserts. I like the drying ones, so if you have dishes, you want to sit there and let them dry. Storage underneath there, and then, oh! Look at that, that's a $187 trash can. Is that what it is now? I guess, I'm just making up as we go. Inflation, I'm Inflation, it's getting crazy. All right, and then coming over here, four drawers. Okay. Drawers. A little bit of storage up there. Mm-hmm. Furion microwave here. Okay. And then you got a Furion range hood, and a Furion three burner propane cooktop and stove, or oven. There the nice little the blue, blue lights. Light. Ooh, Again, we're blue. seeing, and I'll show you the, the fury on the fridge with fury on as well. I love nice. that. It's so nice. Nice storage in there for your pots and pans. And then surprisingly, they still fit a really nice pantry in here. I love that. So even though it's a small fifth wheel, you still got a place to put all your food and stuff. And then Furion compressor fridge and freezer. Nice. Again, as I'm looking around, everything is Furion that I can see. Even so the sound on. bars, but not the ACs. Yeah, so but that's really nice because it just makes it easy if you're having an issue and you got to contact um, the you know the supplier yeah, that is sure. just like you know just contact Furion. Everything's from Furion. Yeah, exactly. 
Well, Jen, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. All right, guys, um, you guys know we're here at Open House. We don't have MSRPs, we don't have sale price, but hopefully by the time Jen's editing this video, we do. And Jen, put the MSRP right there, but then slash it because nobody pays MSRP and put the sale price right there. But guys, honestly, it doesn't matter what the sale price is, was, or will be, we will always get you an even better price. All you have to do is go to generalrv.com slash maxcash, fill out the form in that link. It'll take you to somebody on our team. They will reach out and get you the best price in America. You can also get to that form by going to mattsrvreviews.com and we will link it down in the comments below. Or Jen, what number can they call? 844-969-4033. There you go. That'll take you directly to our team. And again, they will reach out and get you the best price in America. Cool. Great. Let's start over here with this nice entertainment center. You got tons of storage, not tons, but one. you got good storage up top. Nice. Nice for your on sound bar. Huge window that I, I absolutely love that with the shades right there. Roman shades. That's what those are. Roman I was trying to shades. think about that okay. earlier. Yeah. Yep. And then over here, you get a nice, so this is like your breakfast nook, your dinette. It can also be used as additional countertop space if you need. Or at the end of a nice long day, you just want to chill, relax, and watch some TV. And you can't even see the views anymore. You put the TV up just like this, and you have a nice TV there. A nice big TV, too. Yeah. I, I really like this a lot because, again, then in the morning, no more TV. You want to see the lake or whatever you're parked next yeah. to, you can put it back down. And it's a nice big window, so you get great yeah. views. It's a great multi use of space. Yes. Um, they also have oh, I missed a that. little bit of storage under there. Same thing on that side. Nice. And there okay. is a little hook, so there's probably straps so you can hook up your chairs when you're going down the road. Yes. Here, one of the things we love about the Arcadia's furniture looks absolutely beautiful inside. Nice wireless phone charger, cup holders. These seats are heated, massage, and they have USB to charge. And then on the other side, you can parachute to recline. Super comfortable. And it is directly across from your TV entertainment center, yeah. which is super nice. And there is a little storage thing. Oh yeah, there right here. There you go. Or whatever. Over here, a little more storage up top. And then you have a nice coat rack here. You could, I was telling Jen, you could even add um, a couple more spots and hang keys if you wanted. Yeah. Nice bench here to sit down and tie your shoes. And then storage underneath, right there. Oh no, I'm sorry, that's, that's right. your uh, fuse yeah. panel or whatever. Fuses and breakers yep. right there. Cool, coming upstairs. There is like, uh, the front of your steps is open so you can slide some shoes under there. Okay. And then there's all your controls and everything. Over here, Keystone is knocking it out of the park with these showers. Tons and tons of width. The height is good because there's no step up, just that lip. Good depth, nice seat. This definitely passes. Bing! That's a shower to the seal of approval. Sure is. And then I can show you guys. We've got a nice medicine cabinet here. So Will and I were just in another Arcadia and very similar bathroom. Yeah. I really love it. Um, nice big sink. It looks like they're making the sinks bigger. They I'm, are. I'm like, yeah. I like to think that it was my input. There you go. <laughs> because that's been always a pet peeve. It was like a really small sink. It's hard to wash your face. They're also mounting the faucet to the side, which makes it nice because you can actually like use all the right, sink space. Right. Right. You got your water heater controls there, and then some drawers under here. Okay. And a little bit of storage there. Very nice. And then I can show this wall okay. real quick. You got linen storage that goes back there. Very nice. All right, and then this toilet looks promising. Well, okay. Let's see. Is it porcelain? It is. Okay. Lots of leg room here. This definitely passes. Bing! There you this go. Is my poop position. I did that backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. That's, we're gonna have a nice picture of your face on Matt's yeah, body, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Over here, up top you have nice storage here, all the way across. Very Second nice. AC prep. Okay. USB charger, nice uh, storage up to, or shelf up top. Power, side tables there, and storage underneath. Same thing on this side, and then- This has a queen size north-south yes. bed in here. And it, I will mention it is prep for AC in it, but not standard it seems. Second AC. Yeah. So. And then you got your closet here with hanging storage and drawers down here. And okay. there's a little step up into the Let's see the if there's storage area. underneath the bed. Watch out. There sure is. Very nice. And two, more, two chairs more chairs there if you want to take it out to the dining area. 
Watch yourself. Sounds good. Okay. And then we do have a prep here for a TV. There you go. Well, Jen, that's the review and uh, that's it. Now, <laughs> it's sorry, not I messed it. that up. <laughs> before we Well, go. Jen, that's it. That's the review. But before we go, uh, it's now time for three things we like and three things we dislike. What should we do first? Let's do likes first. Okay. Do you want me to go first or you want to go first? I can go first. Okay. All right. Like number one, I'm going to go back out here, Will. Okay. I'm going to do the most obvious one first. Before yes. You steal it from me. So my like has to be this, this nice half dinette, half entertainment center. I love how they did a multi-use space. And right. Right. Like this. You still have a table to sit and eat or get work done, but it also doubles as your entertainment center. So I just love that concept, especially in a small RV. So I agree. That's like number one. You have like number two? Like number two, when I first saw this kitchen, I was like, man, this is small. But when you actually really look at it and you the usability of it, as well as taking into account the class that this is, this is really good because you have good countertop space over here, still nice full-size sink and oven, and a nice big refrigerator, tons of pantry yeah. space, cabinet space. I actually like this kitchen overall. Yeah. That's like number two. Uh, like number three, actually, I think you have on the outside. Yeah. On okay, the outside. let's go take a look. All right, like number three, for how small this fifth wheel is, you still got a ton of pass through storage. So yes. we looked at a bigger Arcadia earlier, and this was the same storage you got in that. So I think it's really nice how they still incorporated that. If you're doing more of like, you know, a compact fifth wheel, you're not giving up on your exterior storage space. And I'm going to combo that with the outside kitchen. This outside kitchen is awesome. I love yeah. that. Especially for the fact that this isn't a bunkhouse unit, still get a nice brittle outside. So that's my like number three wheel. Now let's go back inside and take a look at the dislikes. All right, um, dislike number one for me is gonna be where the, the placement of the auto leveling is. I really don't like that. I don't like how you can't see the hitch as you're backing up or pulling out and you're trying to hit the buttons. They need to shift that over a little bit. Not a deal breaker, but you know, just to tune it in a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna actually combo that well um, with how there's two dump stations on the small of a fifth wheel. Okay. Um, I just don't like that. I think it's it's kind of annoying again. Like when I, I get that if it's like a huge fifth wheel, right. but it would have been nice just to have like it all come to one hookup. So I'm just gonna combo that with the auto leveling outside. Dislike number two for me kind of contradicts one of your likes. Okay. So I know that you really liked how big this kitchen is and I did think they do did a good job, but I think that they could have made this dinette entertainment center a little sh shorter or like less wide and moved this kitchen down a bit just so you got more countertop space. Right. So, again, this is a good kitchen. I think it could have been great for a small fifth wheel if they had just bumped that down a little bit. Okay. So that's my dislike number two. Do you have a third one? Um, Dislike number three, I'm going to say is that uh, second AC prep. I wish that they put the second AC unit in, even though it's a smaller fifth wheel, just to keep that air moving better. Um, you know, you still, it's almost like a wall getting to that other yeah. room. So air is not going to travel up there. Yeah. Well, well guys, that's it. That is the review. Um, thank you all so much for watching and bearing with me and Jen as we do reviews together so that we can divide and conquer and be efficient. Um, again, if you're interested in this unit or any unit, make sure to go to generalrv.com slash Cash. You can get to it by the link below or our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Finally, Jen, what number can they call? 844-969-4033. There you go. Jen, anything you want to say to America? Thank you guys so much for watching and bearing with us without Matt. Hopefully we still did a good job and excited to show you guys more stuff at Open House. So thank you guys everyone so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time. time.